want to talk about activism and what it is. It seems like a lot of people are confused. They have a stereotype in mind and they feel like if you don't fit that profile that you're just not it or you're just not doing it or you're just not interested. So let me make it as plain and simple as I can. An activist is anyone and anyone who has information that the general public does not know but needs to know. And so, through being active, they let the public know. They're basically messengers, scouts. That's really what they are. Most people get offended by it for some reason. They get defensive. And um, I've had someone close to me do that to me, actually, because I'm fairly active in many different ways. It's, it's more than holding up a cardboard sign on the street and yelling. There are so many ways of being active. I mean, just uh, the past holiday, Labor Day, this guy threw, um, boarded up his truck and with spray paint, you know, sprayed his feelings about the holiday, which I was in complete agreement with. And he was waving the American flag, basically waving it for America's future, not its present state. And it was a nice display. It was great. And it was something he put together in his garage, and I applaud him for it. That's activism. He was a normal guy who, you know, uh, decorated his truck and drove around the neighborhood letting everyone know what he felt everyone needed to know. And it was an awakening. And it was great to see. So I have had someone close to me, um, just by nature, they try to put you down. I don't think they do it on purpose. I think that uh, they see the beast that you're about to confront, which every activist knows what they're facing. But I think that maybe out of concern, they like to remind you of who you're up against, but it always comes out negative. And so they end up trying to put you down is basically what ended up happening. And so the individual told me as I'm trying to explain the plan and how it's going to work and said, yeah, but you're just an ant. And without hesitation, I quickly said, yes, I am. I'm an ant. And do you know what happens when a swarm of ants engulfs something? They take it over. I am just one ant, and the point is to not be by myself. And the reality is, I am a scout at this point. You have that one little ant that goes out ahead of the masses, ahead of the others, to find food or see if there is something that could be potentially damaging nearby. And that's what they are. And as soon as they find either of the two, they report back to the group and tell them exactly what they have found. Hey, there's food over here. We need to get organized and get over there and, and reap the benefit quickly. Or there's a predator coming. It's going to wreck the nest or eat us. And we need to go out and attack it. Either way, they are communicating that fact. And yes, the scout can be squashed and obliterated before he gets a chance to portray the message. But the point is to not have that happen. And so that's really what an activist is. You're a scout. And the moment you find crucial information that you feel is important to everyone else, you need to report it. And that's all we're doing. Because if you don't know about something, how do you plan on fighting it or doing something about it? There's no way. So how can the general public know about something if they just don't know about it. It just doesn't make any sense. And yet we're ridiculed. So I wanted to really drive the point home. If you have ever spoke up about anything, you're an activist. In fact, the word activist put an equal sign after it and then put free speech. It's the same thing. You are exercising your freedom of speech through being active. And yet Recently, uh, within the Bush administration, uh, there was a law passed that actually makes you a terrorist now. So you can be arrested and tried as a terrorist. As crazy as that sounds, uh, this country, the country of supposedly freedom and justice, will imprison you for acting upon your right of freedom of speech. 
So be careful when you do whatever active thing you decide to do. You always want to be nonviolent because no matter what the message is, violence always evokes violence. You never get peace out of it. You'll get death, and if that's what you consider peaceful, well, you should probably reconsider what it is you're being active about because I think your, your logic's a little skewed. But um, it should always be peaceful. You should always be informative. It should always be good information. And you should always be open-minded and open-hearted, which means you're not judgmental. The people you're making aware are ignorant, they don't know. So don't be defensive if they don't automatically accept you or your message. You are a teacher and you need to find a better way of teaching them, a better way of portraying the information. You may have come off um, a bit brash and offended them right off the bat. You know, you never know. Uh, you get passionate about things and through your passion you can sometimes come off as being angry or um, offensive. So be mindful as an activist. If you get a negative reaction, you need to reflect and think about, okay, how did that come out when I said it? Or how does my sign read? Or the act that whatever it was you did, you did, if you were driving around the neighborhood, you know, was I being noisy? Was I honking my horn? Was it late at night? Were people annoyed that I was doing that? You know, take things like that into consideration. But whatever the case may be, do not put down the idea. Again, if you have ever stood up for anything, and it can be another kid in the school lunch line, you know, it doesn't matter. If you stood up against a bully, if you stood up just for someone in conversation, someone saying something, everyone else in the group is, oh, I cannot go this way, damn it. I hate when people get in accidents. <laughs> uh, I'll be taking the long way. But anyway, this is supposed to be short. The long story short, if you have ever stood up for anything that you felt was right, you're an activist. Get over it. It's a good thing. And keep on trucking.